Evening guys, how's Fix? Evening David, hope you're keeping well mate. So, uh, just before we start, I just uh, sort this out, this light at the back here, we've got this crazy thing called sunshine up here that we're not used to. So, uh, hi Annette, how you doing? Good to see you. So first of all, we've got a couple of new books. One of them, this is John Nicole, his tornado in the eye of the storm. Looks absolutely awesome. Uh, can't wait to read it. it. Says we were doing about 620 miles an hour, 200 feet above the desert in total darkness. Everything was running on the rails. As we approached the target, then all hell broke loose. I remember a missile being fired at us, and I broke left and shouted, Jack. All I could see was a flame like a very large firework coming towards me. Then there was a huge white flash, and I remember an enormous wind, and then I was knocked unconscious. My last thoughts were, I was going to die. So, uh, yeah, John Nichols, Tornado, it's a... In the Eye of a Storm, it's the newest book. So it sounds interesting, can't wait to uh, read that. And then another famous one, a favourite of mine, Damien Lewis. I like uh, I like a lot of um, James Holland and Peter Carrick Adams, they're great. So I've got a, a new one, Damien Lewis, Great Escapes. So it says it there, seven incredible escapes made by Second World War heroes. So it's a hardback. So that should be interesting. When the time comes, if I get time. I like to read when I'm out in the back, sitting, chilling out. So all good. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Evening, Colin. How's Trix and Edward Leonard? How are you doing, fella? All good look brilliant books yeah they look them and it i like uh i like damon lewis anyway and like i say james holland as well and peter carrick adams they're kind of my favorites we'll get the old tank out of the way there's the barrel with a with a wash on it it's definitely toned it down a lot but we're not on that we'll get that out of the way and we'll do this weird watery thing called a ship. No idea what I'm doing again. But that's where we left off before. Sure, I've done a little touch up here and there. Side with the dazzle camo. So we're going to start trying to work out where it's going on this edge, this little edge here. See, I've got all these edges here to do. So I've got to try and figure out what's what and all that. Now I need to make a little bit of space because this bench is not really big enough for this. So we've got to figure out what happens on these edges here. So what I need, if you find it, because it's been a while since I've done this build, so looking at all the little bits that I've got here, we've got all these little bits here that go on, on it, so I'm pretty sure it was Uh, trying to remember what goes where now. You know, I can't remember. It's been that long. Oh, yeah, that's it. So, if that went on there like that, I can see that if I put that on there, I can see that I can see underneath there. So, I've got to try and replicate the grey and the white onto that edges so on that edge and this edge here so 
I don't want to glue it in place until I kind of figure out what I'm doing. So up to there is definitely all grey, kind of up to there. And then that bit's white and then back to grey again and then to white and then the dark grey again there. So we've got to try and replicate that on this. Which is going to be joyful. Uh, I'm trying to think the best way of going about that. So that went across there. I need to bring it across there. Woofed. That's going to be some angle that. Hi Paul, how are you doing? You survived. This afternoon's thing, Sue hasn't done you in, I see. That goes on there like that. Mm. And that would have a light grey going across there, wouldn't it? Right, I think for this bit, I think the best thing to do is to mask the deck along there a little bit and then maybe put a mask across the very top edge there and then we'll do it in a grey first in the darker grey I think that's going to be the safest way on this uh, got all these bottles sitting in they're all tank ones. So it's remembering what colours I used. Ooh. Do you know, I might have to look back on my videos. I think light neutral grey was one. Ah, oh, well, yeah, light neutral grey, dark sea grey. And I think it was the light grey as well. Then separate, because otherwise I'll forget. Yeah, survived and got my tea. Good man. That's what it's all about. So, yeah, so that's what I think I'm going to have to do is try and mask this bit of deck in here all the way around. And then I'm just going to spray that the, the darker grey. And then we'll try and mask it off. And do the light grey and the white. It's going to get fiddly this bit. Trying to mask it's going to be fun. And you've got lots of little. Can you see that? Lots of little bits there that are going to get in my way. Ah. Uh, Try and figure the best way of going about this. I think, I think a bit of six mil tape to start. It's gonna be dead boring this bit. Oh hi ice cream. So well done by the way, you've done absolutely fab today. So good for you. No bad language. Didn't bite on my wind ups. You uh you done brilliant. Evening Carlo. How you doing fella? So what I'm gonna do is just this curvy kind of tape because it's uh, it's like because it's like a vinyl tape it bends and curves and all that so gives you a chance to kind of push it down where you want it unfortunately it's not going to be very much fun watching this bit 
purely because of, it is what it is more masking this ship i have to say is the most amount of masking i've ever seen obviously because of what it is and what what's got to be done it's like wow seriously all this masking i guess there might be deck masks out there somewhere aftermarket carry on but, um, you're welcome sue you've done brilliant there's any consolation i mean i do these lives and <clears throat> I'm not fussed about it, many things, but if I was in the position you was in today, I think I would have been kind of nervous as well. So, nervous is a good thing. Nervous means you care. That's what I say. See these little plasticky bits? They're all right, pain, these little sticky out bits. I'm going to do one side and then I'll spray it and then another time I'll do the other side. Having trouble seeing what I'm trying to type in due to a black eye Sue gave me. Oh, she couldn't give you a black eye. You were creeping. You were like being a proper soppy sod. Oh, um, soppy person. All that butter wouldn't melt carry on. I agree with you, Sue. Oh, Sue, you're just awesome. Right, pass me the bucket. <laughs> so how's everyone doing? Hope you're doing all well. It's uh, I say a sunny day here, and it sometimes doesn't even get dark here. Evening noodles. Oh man, masking, don't you love it? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm kind of doing. I'm trying to go round everything. At least there's only one set of these on this side and then one set on the other, so at least that bit's done. you got to mask it, because otherwise when I'm spraying, you see this is where hairy stick can sometimes come in handy. Because you could just paint that without much of a problem. Yeah. Evening Mark. How you doing fella? <laughs> A virtual one. Can't believe how soppy Colin was today when you were being interviewed, let's see. Got like a proper soppy side to him. Right, so that's that's pretty much that bit there. You'll see it in a minute. Just gonna chuck a bit. Along this edge, yeah. 
Right. So I'm going to tape out for a minute. Slightly too big for a net. What I'm trying to do now, get that deep inside there. Like that. I have a cunning plan. Oh no. I don't know what this cunning plan's about. How's the car build? <laughs> All this so I can spray this little pin edge craziness. Evening Apple, how are you doing? I'm just trying to see the chat at the same time. Put that on there like that. Right, so I'm just going to do half today. And uh, on the hood at the moment, rejiggling the room as I need more light and air in here. On hold. Oh, wait, right, wait. Right. You'll get there. If anyone can do it, you can. Right. We're getting there. You will be spraying just shortly. Got plenty of time, so. Never seen so much masking on this kit. Dazzle camo is definitely not for the faint hearted, that's for sure. Not if you're airbrushing it. I'd say hand brushing with a hairy stick, that's not too bad, I suppose. You can just kind of wing it. Well, It's airbrush malarkey. Definitely gives it a different challenge. You don't want any over spray on that bottom dazzle. I think the hardest bit for this masking is going to be around that little half circle at the back edge there, which I'll show you in a minute. 
a little bit of a challenge getting that right. All ready. Right. <clears throat> so you see, I've gone around that edge there, and it, it's there. Look. So I've just got a little bit on these two corners, and then just a little bit around there to get on. And then we'll be ready to start somewhat painting wise. Evening Richard, how are you? The B17 is looking sweet, to say the least. But then I don't think I've ever seen a build of yours that doesn't look cool. Personally, I think everybody's build look cool, but knowing how you do your your markings and masks without decals is just crazy. Home Depot must love you when you're going for supplies, rubbing their hands with glue with tape. <laughs> yes. Uh, to be fair, most of my masking tapes keep his chips anyway. Um, I don't pay a lot for it, so. Right, we're not fitting there. Yeah. This curvy tape's really handy because you stick it on that circle there like that. You get it? And then it's a bit like that PTFE tape that you use in plumbing. Yeah. Bends around the corners nicely. Hopefully. That one is just slightly too wide, I think. Uh -huh. I'm just pushing that down around that edge. <sighs> the joys, huh? It's time 24. You're right. I'm doing all this right round the back of this, but this is where the guns go. I believe that you don't actually see this bit once the guns are on. Start again. Just annoying. You've got stubby fingers like me. Really doesn't help. I'm trying to do this around the curve. And it's starting to annoy me. Ron Hetman, if you're watching this at some point, you've got a lot to answer for. Right, you know what? I've had enough messing about with that. Right, plan B on that. 
Where is it? Right. No more messing about with that. White tack. That's what I'm going to use. It's going to be easier. That's going to get around them curves a bit better, I think. Bank thread, all good. Rather you than me on the turpits. That's a beast. I'm a dazzle. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> yes, my good friend Ron. He's gonna. He's gonna get it. Because it's his fault. Right. Use the back end of these. Sometimes when you get like mad curves and stuff like that here, sometimes the old white tack is really what's best to mask off that area. Save me a world of hurt. Well, I've managed to empty my old washing machine thanks to my neighbour across the landing who took the drain pipe out. So now I'm ready for the new one. Oh, good man. We nearly there. Two more to do, but because I'm using a white tack, it should be a little bit quicker now. Rather than messing about. The masking tape. Just making sure that that edge, around the bottom edge, is on. You see that? Uh, there. Bit of mark. Bit of white tack. White tack saves the day. <coughs> so you can stick it on like a sausage there, and then just squish it all in. Back of the tweezers and make sure them edges that I'm actually going to be spraying that is pushed right down in them edges, and that'll do me. I say, I don't think you see it because the big guns go on there, but you know me, I can't help myself. That's my little grandson showing if you can hear him. He's uh crazy. Evening David. Uh, one more. Don't forget this is just for that little edge all the way around the around the edge of this first layer of decking upper structures so I've got all this headache on all the little upper structure bits yet at some point it's going to be a while this build and then you've got all the crazy rigging wires and stuff like that it's, um, it's going to be a patience one this one should come out all right after. I did post an update on the tank on social media. You can see what I was doing last night a bit clearer. So what I've done here, like I said, is 
put the mask the white tack in there and then around that edge of the circle here and around this circle here i pushed it right down so then it gives me a nice clean edge to work with so that's that bit mission accomplished now what i need to do this is where it all starts to get a bit complicated and awkward is I don't want any overspray on my metal finish either so I'm going to need to protect that edge as well that leaves me a little thin channel there to do what I need to do Which is craziness, to say the least. <laughs> Too far forward. You can see what I'm doing when it comes to the dazzle. Uh, don't forget this is just one half I've got the other side to do at some point uh, as all the builds are live you're going to have the joys of watching me do all this crap again at some point right <coughs> crazy as it seems Just about there. I'm just going to cover that like that for now. There. So, I've got my, my little channel there now. With the metal protected and the deck protected. With white tape, blue tack and whatever. So I'm going to paint that in that darker grey. I know I normally start from light to dark. But with the mill specs, to be fair... It will work, so we shall just go with it. Fire up your airbrush. So I'm just going to go dark grey and then kind of follow the dazzle camo that's on the side and try and eye up where it goes and then there'll be more masking. You see, if you're doing a one three fifty ship, invest in a few rolls of the old masking tape because you're gonna need it. That's for sure. Sure, we've got all these guns that we built a while back. If you remember, they've all got to go in there. Loads of guns and boats and all sorts of craziness. Hi, William. How you doing? That's a lot of tape. Yeah. Well, the last thing you want, mate, to be fair, is overspray on any of it because if I get overspray on that deck after all that effort I would pretty much cry would that be the best best word <laughs> I wouldn't be a happy bunny that's for sure I do believe that was the colour I used Yeah. 
and we begin. It's modern technology, more than three years old, blah, blah, blah. All right, yeah. Right, so, here we go then. Fiddly. You got it all. Checking that. Yep. All good. I'll show you in two seconds. It's a lot of effort, but worth it. You know, the hobby's relaxing. It's not supposed to be rushed and stressful and all that lot. Mind you, it will be interesting to count up how many hours of life it's taken. to get where I've got to so far. So there's my grey on there, you can see that along that edge there all the way around. No missing bits. Like so. Now it seems crazy putting this on and then pulling it back off. But I need to pull it off so I can see what I'm doing next. I'm leaving the deck one on. I'm leaving the deck one on, but there we go. Now I've got to look at this and then kind of guesstimate where it goes on this bit. The joys and funner and then mask it off to do the next colour. So this white one goes pretty much where it gets all good. You gotta look at it, my pattern. Try and continue it. Like that. And I hope you got it right. So this is the white I'm masking for. Goes under. Across there. Like 
like that. Right over a bit. See, it goes, see, it goes, as they say. Again, that. Angle just right. You see, all Quebec. That's not right. Oh dear, dear, dear. <sighs> the joys, huh? Camera to as frozen, Fred. Uh, oh, my little camera's frozen again. Yeah, I see that. I've done that last time. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it's that one there, so. Let me just see if I can figure out what it is. Not that one. Right. It's that one, isn't it? No. That one. Right. Properties. One, two, web cam. Okay. That fixed it? No. Don't know what's going on with it, mate. Why it keeps freezing? What I'll do is I'll change it to that one and then I'll change it back. To that one. There. Sorted. There we go, Richard. All fixed. Don't know why it keeps doing that. There is an OBS update. I need, to, I need to see what the update is. I just didn't get time before I started. So, um, it's got to be about. Do you know how pity this is? Right. Cool. Cheers for letting me know. It's uh, done that last time I was live too. I don't know what's going on with it. Like I say, it might just be because of them updates, so I'll have to see what the update is again. That's the trouble, you, you get everything set up how you want it, and then it has a system update on the software, and then it's like everything's uninstalled, and the microphone's gone, and, and all this headache, and you don't realise until you're live, and then you're like, oh no. That's that one, that's that one, that's that one. One more. And then I'll kind of show you what I've done again. Should get the white on at least today.
right. Hopefully, I've got that right. Looks about right. This is right as it's going to be. Right, so what I've done, I've looked at where the weight is there and then kind of brought it up. If that makes sense. So it gets wider on that one and that one comes across like that. Can you see that? Yeah, that should make sense to you. You all know the, know the score with this. Carry on. Now, I need to protect everything but that. You know what I mean? You don't want any white overspray. With a bit of luck and a lot of fingers crossed, it should. I'm going to take all this tape off after. Looks sweet. Now, the question is for me what do I do? Because I can leave that bottom row on and do the other grey. And that means I'll be live a little bit longer than I normally would be. And, uh, but it would mean that I've got the job done. And then I could just remove all the tape and go da da, kind of stuff. Right, uh, the issue on this one I've got is really that across there to there, it's white also. And quite as far over as that, right? Yeah. I'm trying to be smart now and just me and smart don't go well together. And that bit there is white. And then that bit there across. Up there is also white. Right. See all the planning you have to work out for this week. Right. In theory, as theories go, it should be about right by the looks of it. It's kind of looking crazy, but you'll see what's going on there. So you got your white there, look, onto the grey, your white there going up, your white going across, and your white going across there. That's the plan. How it turns out, may need a little touch up, whatever, we shall see. 
had a delivery yesterday of more Michael Barnes a penny here in your 170 box car when you get around to it. Oh, awesome. Cheers, Richard. Yeah, I've just got to look for the the newer version of the Flight of the Phoenix. That's basically what I want to do. Um, but with the, silk, the full metal finish before it got smashed up and all that carry on. So uh, that's the plan. It's looking at the movie and trying to work it all out. And all that kind of headache. Right. So, the point of no return. It's the jump. Like I said, I might need to clean up some edges after and adjust it slightly. But we shall see how it looks first before we worry about that. You got to remember as well. We've got like the guns and all that lot, and that's all got to be done in Gazel too. So it's going to be an absolute nightmare this build. And then you've got all the upper structures as well, and they're all in Gazel. So headache, just like a small polite way of saying it. Oh. Messing up Mark's lovely bottles of paint. Rob, Mark, if you're watching, I did wipe the bottle after. What's the time? 53. Yeah, we're not going to get time to do the light grey, not in this session. It's a little shame. I don't mind going an extra half an hour and get the light grey bit done as well. Depending on what everyone's up to. So, that's my white on. And these bits out of the way again. Because I've got light grey to do as well. Pick that off. Boom, 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 boom. So, I'm just going to pick this off and call it a night, I think. And we'll get all this off just so you can see what's happened. Oh, 
Hi Johnny, how's the tricks? I'm just trying to get all this white tack now. <laughs> all that effort putting it on and it's like trying to get every bit of it off. Because if you forget a bit, you'll end up forgetting about it and then you'll carry on with the build and then you'll take your final photos and it'll be on something like Twitter where you can't remove it and you're like that the white duck oh no Yeah, well, you're one of these kind of people that you just want to follow anyway. Right, nearly there, guys. You'll get the gist of what I've done. I might, say, might need a little touch up here and there, but we'll deal with that at a later date. I've only got cards. Right, so I can see already there's one little bit needs a bit more white work done to it. But you see that there's a little bit there, just there that I need to touch, just there I need to touch up, and I need to go a little bit darker on that bit there. But that's not a problem, that's easy enough to do. So we've got a like dark grey on there now. It is the same grey as the rest of the ship, it just this light doesn't help. Um, you get the gist of it, it's kind of working its way up. In line with one another. I'd say the light's not brilliant. Maybe that'll help and you'll see better. See? Yeah, there you go. So there's my dad's all pretty much marrying up there, look. So it matches up there. And it matches up on there. And the same with that one. Turn it the right way, that is. There you go. It all marries up. So I've still got the light grey, this one here to do, along the top edges. And then once I've done that, I can start putting the guns on and trying to match the pattern again. And then uh, we've got no overspray on the deck there. It's all nice and clean. It's all good. That's the kind of crap we're going to have to do each time. Um, luckily I've got more masking tape because I'm going to need it on this one. And uh, yeah, craziness. And then I've got all the super structures to do as well like that, same kind of way. So all these kind of crap, I've got to do the same thing trying to get it all. But I'll do that all in one piece, you know. And I'll do section by section and then uh, try and sort it out. But I've got all them little silver bits in there to do as well. It, you know, mask off as well. So it's going to be fiddly. But it should be worth it once it's done. So, uh, cheers, Johnny. All good fun, mate. So they say. Like I say, there's a little bit of touching up, but what I'll do is I'll just touch that up when I'm doing the other side. We've still got that side to do that's not been done yet. I have the patience of a saint. Uh, it's one of them kits, mate. Really, there's no ish, no point rushing it absolutely no point because you'll just ruin it you know it's uh 
it's a pain in the ass. Oh, it's a bit of a pain, and uh, yeah, be worth it when it's finished. So that's the main thing. So there we go. Anyway, a bit of dazzle going on at the edges there, and the grey on on my deck. So next time I'll do that side. Pretty much the same process again. And uh, the only good thing is this one here looks like it's nearing up at a point already, so there won't really be anything on this bit here. But that one will be that one there, because that one will come wider, so it goes from there wider and wider and wider. So uh, that one will be a pain, but there's not as much on this side if you've noticed. It's just a little bit of light grey. A big blob of white, and that's about it on them lines. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that word. This side's the most kind of annoying side because obviously this one here gets bigger and bigger and bigger as it goes up the structure, and the same with this one here that gets bigger and bigger, but then that one there gets really small. So it'll only come to about here. Uh, so yeah. So there's easy bits on it and, and more awkward bits. But we'll get there. But it's definitely looking the part now. Well, it's starting to. A long way off yet. So the gun that goes on here, that'll be half white, half grey. And so forth. So yeah. There you go, anyway, that's the old turf, it started a bit more on it. Every little bit gets you a little bit closer, so no crumb, no grumbles there, you know. And then I've got to put these things on, and then work out the pattern and spray these little side bits here. So, and then put them on, and then we'll carry on and start building the upper structures. So there's still a fair bit to go before before we're uh, ready for that stage. It will start looking like a ship soon, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And there we go, again on the, on the bigger camera there you can see that. Oh, I turn that off. So there you go. So you've got our weight on there. And our grey. And we'll just keep working our way up. All good. Well, that's me four minutes over, which is fine. I don't mind. Um, and that's it till next week. It'll be Friday and Saturday again, seven o'clock. That's my new times due to work. Uh, and that's it. So everyone, stay safe and look after yourself. Send a message if you want. You know where I am on different social media platforms. You can say hello, whatever. Just say hi, whatever. Um, I start work at about 12 o'clock until 9 o'clock. So, Sunday to Thursday. So that's it. Take care. Stay safe. And thanks for popping by, chatting away and all that lot. Your support, thumbs up, etc. Subscriptions, it's all good fun. Again, Sue, well done for your live today with your interview. You've done brilliant. I was tough for you. You were so nervous about it all, and uh, you didn't swear, like unlike me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so these little words come out. That's why there's a disclaimer at the beginning. Uh, night, guys. Take care, and I'll see you all Friday at seven o'clock. Bye for now. Bye. Oh, flip. Where's my mouse gone? Yeah.